hard. Ain't nobody want to say it, so it's going to be up to me yet again. I am predicting, y'all. Get on the edge of your seat for this one. Hey, Gavin Newsom, Michelle Obama, Democrat ticket for 2024. Joe and Kamala are out. They're gone. I know, I just threw up on my mouth too, but this is what I'm predicting. I'm seeing a lot of uh, conversation, a lot of trends that lead to things that you see right before they announce. Here's the deal. If y'all believe that Joe Biden and Kamala are actually going to be able to be allowed to run as the Democrat ticket in 2024, you probably also believe that it's a good idea to, you know, go to a campsite next to Cocaine Bear. <laughs> By the way, hit like if you'd love to see our Congress go camping with that bear. Maybe that's what they need right now. But Democrats don't want uh, a Biden-Harris ticket for 2024. They would rather go be left alone with Alex Murdoch mixing 15 different kinds of hallucinogens on a hunting trip. I promise you that. So what are they going to do? I'll tell you what they're going to do. They're going to go back to their old former playbook. The former playbook of former glory, right? They're going to go get Gavin Newsom out of California, who has been as successful at running California as Jada Pinkett Smith has been at monogamy. And then they're going to go get Michelle Obama as VP just to make sure they get the victim vote. Now, don't add, underestimate the victim vote. It's a powerful emotion, y'all. It has a hell of an effect. Remember the new rules? Wanting a qualified president these days is just outdated. Matter of fact, it's racist. So wanting a celebrity victim is trendy. It's got everything to do with who whines and cries enough to get a book, maybe a Netflix special, then you're in. But things are changing, y'all. The victim vote 10 years ago used to be gold in a king's palace. Today, it's more like copper in a meth head's apartment. It doesn't work anymore. They've all overplayed their hand. You don't believe me? Look at Harry and Meghan. I mean, they are living proof that you can actually overplay the victim card. Listening to Michelle Obama, Harry, Meghan, all complain about how oppressed they are while they're living in their palaces, while they're living in their mansions, just becomes laughable. And that is where you know you've actually overplayed your hand. And you might say, well, if this is all true, buddy, then how come we don't hear about Biden retiring? How come we don't hear about Kamala bowing out? She's not going to be the VP anymore. It's because they're waiting for the last minute. You ain't hearing about it because they're relying on the KJV. And that does not mean the King James Version at all. It means the knee jerk votes. They know that the window for excitement for a Newsom Obama ticket is going to last about as long as a gallon of milk. Then it's going to go sour in two short weeks. So they have to wait and drag this thing out. The reason I say there's a strong possibility for a Newsom Michelle Obama vote is because they're really out of ideas. However, they love to push the envelope of what they're already built upon. Newsom is younger than Joe and Michelle is way manlier than Kamala. <laughs> we all know that to be true. I believe wholeheartedly though um, that there's going to be a created crisis during the next election, which I'm going to drop a video on uh, probably on Thursday. You might want to sit down and have a couple beers before you even get into this video. I'm just going to warn you, but we got to get our houses in order because God, y'all like TikTokers are allowed to vote and breed which is a total crime against humanity. These are the people who actually have a voice and a say-so in this country. Conservatives have to do everything twice as clean and twice as good as everybody else. But nobody's on our side but God and our own self-sufficiency. I want you to understand that with either political party. Because after 9-11, Republicans created a perpetual surveillance state. After COVID, Democrats created a perpetual compliance state while leaving us in a perpetual crisis. That's where we're at right here in 2023. So plan on being self-sufficient man. Plan on being a self-sufficient woman. Whatever you do, whatever you go, because that's the key to happiness. All this news, all this entertainment, all this fear mongering, it has no effect on me whatsoever because I cancel my subscription. I'm not a customer. I canceled it like Disney Plus, y'all. It is completely gone. I rely on God and individual liberty every single day. This is not a prepper channel. This is not a conspiracy channel or music or even political. It's just about a big family coming together who all relies on each other. So with that being said, comment below things that you are doing to stay self-sufficient in Canada, US, Australia, Germany, UK, wherever you're at. I feel like a lot of folks would read it. I feel like a lot of folks would benefit it. And um, God bless y'all. I look forward to this video on Thursday. Be good. Mm -hmm.